Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. EA crashed the market on Christmas with a messed up, glitched out, 500,000 coin store pack. They took it away, they fixed it, they brought it back, and the market's kind of been weird now, ever since that happened. A lot of prices are still low, but some things have started to go up. But it was a crazy last couple days in this game. I know we didn't get a video out on Christmas or yesterday to take a look at what happened with this best of being added to packs or the 500k pack in the store. But I want to take a look at that today and how kind of the lack of content yesterday, not really a lack of content, but just not as crazy as it has been in the past couple of days. Of course, we did have a really, really great Tony Cruz SBC and seven. 25 plus player picks being added, but a lot of the market is actually rising in the most meta, popular, and hyped areas right now because people are going out and building teams around these great SBCs, and there's not a ton of coin drain content taking coins off of the market in mass quantities like a gamble pack, but... Could one of those packs come today? I'm talking like an icon pack, a hero pack, or maybe it's just the World Cup campaign pick is re-upped. I think there's potential for that to be happening today. So we're going to take a look at all of the market movements from Sunday on Christmas up until today on Tuesday and talk about what to expect today on this game because I have a couple ideas. So if you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start by talking about the store pack, right? Because this is where all the madness started on Sunday, on Christmas, on the actual day of Christmas, EA did a, a nice, I guess, nice Christmas gift here, but you have to pay for it, right? 3,000 FIFA points or 500,000 coins, which 3,000 3, FIFA points for a 500k pack and all that is inside of here is technically good value. If you were somebody that opened this pack in the first like hour or hour and a half or so when it was still live in the game and tradable, I mean, technically that value is not too terrible you may not have made your coins back but just with all the special cards that are in packs including the winter wild cards that are in packs right now you had a really really good opportunity to pack some special cards and that's why i think you saw the market impacted so much but of course the, I mean, EA wouldn't release these packs if they weren't being opened right I mean you look how much the market was impacted on Sunday when this pack was released incorrectly. Of course, I'm sure you guys saw this tweet. The winter pack was released with tradable items incorrectly. They pulled it away, and then it was re-released, I think like an hour or two later, correctly, right? So EA had a mistake on Christmas, and then somebody had to work on Christmas to fix it. You know, that's kind of crazy in the first place. But if you take a look at the market, I want to take a look at fodder first, because fodder was absolutely like smashed in price fodder was killed by the amount of supply it was crazy 24,000 coins for 88 so they were down at like 20k that the graphs doesn't even show it but they were actually at 20k on sunday uh when this totally dropped off yeah from 24k down to 20 now most of them are back up to about 22 or 23 but fodder in general is still really really low from where it was even on the weekend because of this supply that we had from this pack and the lack of demand from other especially high rated fodder other SPCs <clears throat> are not requiring these cards, so they're staying pretty low in price. But of course, for the rest of the market, if you take a look at like winter wild cards, like look at Usman Dembele. I sold this guy for 900,000 coins on Saturday. On Sunday, he went from 712 all the way down to 639, back up to the high 600s. A lot of these cards, and of course, specifically the cards that were released in the best of, which EA still has not given us a true list of what cards are in this winter best of. We know a few cards, right? You can tell which ones have dropped in price a lot on the market, like Pulisic, Path to Glory. All these cards here that are showing on this little info screen. Um, Chom Many Wants to Watch is another one that is in packs right now. But EA needs to give us a list. And I hope they do that today on Tuesday or maybe throughout this week because kind of the, the holidays are, are slowing down a bit or at least we're after the Christmas weekend. So maybe there's some more info they're going to be putting out here soon. Hopefully, I don't remember a time where they've ever been able to get away with releasing a, like a best of team in packs and, and not releasing like um, a list of telling us what players are actually in packs. But this has impacted these guys' prices a lot. Like on Sunday, I actually spent like 10 minutes on the app seeing the supply. I was like, all right, I'm going to go snatch some cards up. So I bought Van Dyke at like 990. I bought two Rafael Leal's at 910. I bought an uh, Erling Holland at 1.01. .01. So we had some quick, good quick flips in there. Also, I've been checking my club. Guys, check your club for like 
any silver, bronze, gold, Sud America, Libertadores card, like these guys are selling like hotcakes for the league SBCs. The menu grind is impeccable right now. We'll talk more about that again. Uh, so check your clubs for that. But the Sunday madness on the market was crazy. And it literally crashed like half of the market just because of the panic of all that supply. And then, uh, you know, people knowing that this pack was there, people probably were going out and selling cards to go open this 500k pack while it was tradable. Now, since it is untradable now, and correctly so, is it worth it? Absolutely not. Like, I don't think this pack is worth it. I don't think the Snowstorm pack is worth it, which evidently this one was tradable as well. I think I missed that earlier in the week, or I saw it and kind of just gl glanced over it. It says all items are tradable. I don't think EA ever tweeted about this pack. I don't know if they fixed this one uh either but this one popped up as tradable earlier in the weekend and then the season two review pack was also dropped yesterday on monday uh in the store now what's interesting about these packs is they all expire today um and i don't know what's going to replace these today will ea just s simply refresh these packs like that would be crazy if ea is going to go full send really try to sell those fifa points and refresh these today that's why i think tuesday has potential to be a pretty interesting day on the market today and on the game because if these packs get refreshed, that's more coin drain and, and more FIFA point drain, I guess you could say, uh, for people that are on the game. Because people do open these packs with coins 100%. It's very interesting that they're all expiring today on Tuesday. Um, you know, I also, do, I also do think that you could see a refresh of an SBC that was very popularly released last week. It was very cheap. It was very good value. And if you remember last week, this SBC came after they put a gamble pack in the store they put one of those review packs a mid-season review pack is what it was called they put it in the store last week and then an hour later with delayed content they dropped the world cup campaign player pick now this sbc expires today could ea refresh some sort of player pick maybe this exact one or some sort of other hero or icon player pick today I really feel like there is potential that EA will do something. We didn't get anything yesterday regarding like some any sort of gamble pack, right? I know that we're getting these daily player SBCs. We've had Payet and Cruz in the last two days. Both of these SBCs are big big Ws in terms of value. I think that this Payet is insane, right? 4-4 with the Santa hat, of course, that makes it look even better. But such a nice card and just in terms of stats and you see again we talked about this a couple of days ago this is the biggest tip that i can give you for the market right now in this game if you're trying to trade and make coins or maybe even invest a little bit you have to go where the hype is with the winter wild cards spcs and right now it is with league Un and it's with la liga you've had tony cruz as a midfielder and rodrigo de paul as a midfielder it's moving a lot of la liga cards but then this dimitri payet himself is moving a ton of league one cards on the market of course you look at the Genduzi card right that's a perfect example of a card that is up like crazy uh, because of this 140,000 coins for Genduzi after he was 73k uh, right uh, before Christmas weekend so he has doubled in price in a mere weekend on this game now that's the best option right he has gone up the most now take a look at Asenjo right this guy was 160k now he's up to 200,000 coins after the release of the Tony Cruz SBC so even though Tony Cruz is a little bit more expensive um, I think it's I think it's a really big W I'm very tempted to try to craft this SBC I know it's 268k but an 80 paced five star five star tony cruz like that that's just cool that's just flat out cool and that's how all of our winter wild card sbcs have been thus far and that's why i think honestly you're seeing the market react pretty well to this of course we did have the panic on sunday and of course some of your cards that are not from la liga or not from league one have not fared as well maybe some of your premier league cards maybe some of your bundesliga cards syria just doing okay stuff like that other cards have taken hits in price because of these new ones that have been coming out. Um, but that's just kind of stuff that we knew was going to happen, right? That happens every single year during Winter Wild Cards. But even yesterday, with the market just being kind of slow, um, in terms of nothing like super duper crazy came out, since Sunday happened, and yesterday on Monday was a little bit of a slower day, you look at the rest of the market, like look at this Harry Kane team in tournament card, 150,000 coins. And a lot of the market, even yesterday on Monday, 
just started to rise up even further. We'll take a look at this Kane card yesterday. Like, there's not a ton of hype for the Premier League right now in terms of cards that were released. He started yesterday on Monday at 136K, kind of rose to the high 140s, and right now hitting 150,000 coins. You take a look at some of these other cards. Um, Tiago Silva keeps rising. Teo Hernandez keeps rising. Dalo, Casemiro. These guys just keep rising because they're the most recent promo team. There is hype. Of course, these guys are pretty cheap, right? 150K, 100K. Again, this is the type of players that we talked about. Tiago Silva, for sure. We talked about this a couple days ago as well with people getting on the game for the first time, getting the game, loading it up. They're, these players that are around 100,000 coins and under are going to be the ones that move the most because that is where people can afford cards that are getting on the game. And there's extra demand, right? And there's not as much supply because these guys are out of packs. It's all all demand for these lower tier cards as people build squads as they get the game for for Christmas and during this weekend and stuff like that. So really the market's doing really well. And even though prices are down a lot from what they were on like Friday or Saturday, like look at Joao Felix, right? 730,000 coins ish right now. Yesterday he was 660. Kind of started rising rising all day and then of course after the content yesterday was just all right and some La Liga links being pushed, he goes from 700 back up to 752, but again on Sunday it was a completely different story, right? He was down at 660 because of that panic after being 730 he shot down in price because of the supply and the panic of the big time 500k pack that was in the store. So yes, you've had a lot of prices fluctuate and these winter wild cards have been my favorite to trade with, especially earlier in the weekend. Conte, like it's still pretty low for a special Conte card. You know, I know this year's, this FIFA is the prices are just really, really cheap and all that stuff. But like 800k for a Conte card that people are gonna use is like the only special Conte for a long time or a 99 physical De Bruyne at 1.1 mil. Like just look at this guy's graph every day. He was 1.09 nine went back up on sunday he was crazy low at 1.05 shot back up of course over 150k into the late night hours of 1.2 so these cards move a ton and they're just in such a high volume of demand now again like i said though if today's content changes things and the past couple of weeks, Tuesdays and Wednesdays have kind of been, you like, you see that peak in the early to midweek, and then prices just sort of start to fall off again. We saw it with the team and tournament cards. We saw it with the foot phenoms cards. So with these wild cards that have maybe bounced up in price a little bit, maybe it's just because of the, the links. Like Ferlin Mendy was, um, I believe Ferlin Mendy was almost 499,000 coins, or he was somewhere right around, uh, like, under 500k and he is up big of course because of the tony cruz sbc and the france links of course that are in this promo as well he's up big but could some of that insane like market rise or just some of the prices that have gone up change a little bit today it's all around the sbcs right it's all around if they drop a gamble pack today if they drop something that's going to dr uh, drain the market of some of the coins and some of the fodder and make people sell some cards that they maybe um, have bought or purchased to get into their team. Now, speaking of draining the club and draining coins, this 75 plus player pick only requiring six non rares is a W in my opinion. Now, make sure you're just turning in on tradables. I know that all those in my club are untradable that I turned in right there because tradables are going for so much in and around the market right now. Make sure you're only turning in on tradables to this unless you're going out and buying non rares uh, to try to complete these. I hear that these are pretty good with winter wild cards and packs. Um, well, we got an 84. That's not bad, but it's a one of three. It's a 75 plus. So it seems really low, but again, with the winter wild cards and the best of in packs, this is a great week to spend coins on upgrade packs. It really is. I know that it seems like Nate, Nate it's a crazy time right now with all these cards and packs. And you're talking about the market being drained from all the stuff in the store. And there's just a lot to pack right now. And that also, I think maybe hurts the market next couple days in this week because there's so much demand for these player picks i mean i get an 83 and 84 and back to back that's not bad and i think i've heard from a lot of people that these are pretty good so uh, another pack that we have refreshing today just seeing this is the 85 times two so that could be a part of the gamble i guess you could see today i don't know what fodder this requires this is an 84 squad or an 83 squad this is an 84 squad with 186 or higher watch your 84s today right and i want to talk about fodder a little bit more here because i think it's worth mentioning the only fodder that is done good 
this week so far is the low tier, right? Your 83s are starting to go up a little bit. They're nearing 1,000 coins. Your 84s are up for sure. And if you take a look at the index 84, you can see it, right? Yesterday, it just kind of shot up like this. Um, and even on the daily graph, this might not be zoomed in enough, but it was really low on Saturday, Sunday, and then boom, it's been kind of going up in price with that low tier being demanded. Uh, I think that 85 double definitely has a play in that. And then the Tony Cruz that they dropped yesterday, a lot of people going out and doing that as well. So if you can get 84s, I know weekend league rewards are paid out today on Tuesday. Could we see a bit of a market bump even after the weekend league rewards delayed payout? Absolutely, right? That goes for the winter wild cards. That goes for the most meta La Liga and League Gun cards and just meta cards in general on the market right now. Could see a bit of a bump in price just with extra coins being put onto the game today. Uh, but especially for the low tier fodder, if that 85 double comes back, if the campaign player pick comes back, that is going to mean there's going to be more demand and these cards will probably rise up. Now, for the high tier on fodder, what's it going to take for 88s to 91s to move, right? These guys look low. I get it. I mean, when was Neuer 41K the last time, right? We looked at this on stream last week. The last time Neuer was this cheap was the early part of November, like before Black Friday when all the crazy SPCs got released. These guys have not been this low in a hot minute. So it's going to take either a Jarzinho or a Maldini Icon SBC. Those have were leaked, of course, last week, and we had not seen them yet. I think it's going to take an SBC like that or some sort of icon upgrade or player pick or a hero upgrade or player pick to make the market move in those areas. And really, um, today, I, I do think you will see a nice little bit of a, of, a, of a rise on the market. I think you will because you see those rewards time periods always. People get rewards, they go out and they buy some cards for their team. Now, I'm gonna open these two packs here really fast, but I wanna talk about the daily SBC players as well because, of course, that's content that we expect to see every single day now. We have some leaks. Is that Modric or is that like Kovacic and somebody I... It is, oh my goodness, we got Modric and Jack Butland in that pack. I forget that these Winter Wild cards hide in behind. Okay, that's uh, not bad. Welcome back to playing FIFA. Thank you, EA Sports, appreciate that one. Uh, but with the daily SBCs that we have leaked, I feel like we've hit the peak, maybe besides one or two SBCs, I feel like we've hit the peak of what daily players that we are going to be getting. Before I open this 83 plus double, I want to take you guys through a couple of the most recent leaks that to me just don't look that great. Oxford added to come. Of course, another English card in the Bundesliga. We have that um, uh, Osei Tutu guy that's like a, a left wing with a lot of different position changes that's in the SBC section right now. I believe he is Bundesliga and English as well. So. I mean, it's a decent looking card. I mean, if you could position change him to center back, I don't know what his base card is uh, for position changes, but that would be a dope center back card. But again, you, you look at these guys with the stats too. F Fadiga, left wing, um, like that card does not look that great to me, if I'm just being completely honest. So we go down here, Bella Garde. This card could be a cheap beast. Again, I think I said it earlier. This reminds me of like an Atebo type card from last year. French midfielder uh, with a lot of pace and pretty good stats elsewhere. These guys just have to be really, really cheap. Um, we do have Eric Bailly that is still a leak. This would be a nice, fun card. And a lot of these leaks that we have as well, League One is kind of the push, right? League One's kind of the push, except for that Bundesliga guy, Oxford. And then we still have Silas um, as a leaked card as well. Five-star skill, all the hype, just because of the name uh, for that one. So, But to me, it just seems like the daily player SBCs, we've reached the peak almost. Unless there's some other ones that are going to be released that we don't know about yet. I heard there is a leak for some other sort of French Winter Wildcards SBC player. But I don't know the name. We haven't seen any official leaks for it yet, so I don't know. I would just say take that with what it is, a grain of salt. But, yeah, I mean, the player SBCs that I see don't look that amazing, but there is a lot of League 1 in there. So maybe you watch your League 1 cards because... Who knows? There could be a bit of a push on those uh, if that is where, you know, the hype is for SBCs throughout the rest of this week. So we're getting an Essential in this pack. Again, I have to remember to look at the back of the pack. All right, we get nothing there. We get 23s, unfortunately. But, hey, we'll take the Butland and take the Modric because that Modric is probably going to find his way into the Tony Cruz SBC just because that is one that I would like to get done. And it's very interesting to me that all those store packs are expiring today. That's so, 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 so interesting to me. It just makes me feel like something in the store might be dropping again today as well. Maybe they're going to refresh one of these. I doubt they do all of them, uh, but I feel like there's going to be something, man. I feel like there's really, really going to be something today in the store. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. We will be actually back streaming today, watching the market moves. And I feel like the market's going to be pretty healthy until content today. And then from there, 
we will just see where it goes. But I mean, right now, the menu grind is absolutely unbelievable. I know I haven't mentioned this a ton. I wish that EA would add a separate tab for some of these upgrade packs. Um, uh, I think I did miss the one of the first challenge SBC tokens, so that's on me. But these, uh, these upgrade packs, the Winter League, not that one, the Premium Winter League upgrade. Yes, of course, it's got the market moving like crazy. Check your clubs for Conmebol, Bowl, Sudamerica, Libertadores, League One, Air Divisie, of course. I need to check more of my club and, and start doing these SBCs myself, but it's a grind, but like bronze pack method into the uh, bronze upgrade, into the silver upgrade right now, like to really rinse your club and to do that sort of menu grind, it is absolutely impeccable right now to go through all of this. It's not the best grind that it's ever been, but it's doable. And with all the best of cards and packs right now, which doesn't even give us a date for how long these best of cards are in packs. It literally just says best of. I think EA is going to have to up update something with this because there's no loading screen. There's no official. I looked on the website. There's no official link, and it's just kind of tough. Hopefully, they update on that. Update us on that today uh, with that because that's an EA mistake as well, I guess you could say. Um, and that crashed a lot of those card prices for sure when that was a big surprise on Christmas Day with those being released in packs. Now, really quickly with the swaps, we are currently up to 14 swap tokens. Uh, with one of them being released yesterday in the Winter Wild Cards Challenge 3. So, uh, the Christmas Cheers SBC with the 50k pack, that was dropped on um, Sunday with the Christmas Cheers and then the Winter Wild Cards 3. So, two more there. We're at 14 total. Probably another one coming today. I could see it again just like last week on Tuesday. They dropped it in the first owner fiesta um, game mode, which is refreshing again today so i didn't go and, and get all these done i just got my one win got my token and i got out of there but if you have not done this one yet oh here in uh, objectives make sure you get that one done and then also um watch out for <clears throat> silver stars because silver stars tomorrow will probably be the place where they put another token in this game on wednesday so we'll just have to see but personally i have no coins invested or anything else with that right now because i did a couple of quick flips sold some stuff for my club um and we will see what ea does today i'm ready because the market's pretty healthy unless we have some sort of panic sbc today that would make some prices drop that could bring some crazy fluctuations to the market that might be good to trade in uh but i'm i'm ready to see what ea bring on because i'm ready to grind the menus this week to get some upgrade packs in try to pack some cool stuff and then of course craft some of these sbcs i really want to do payette i really want to do tony cruz because that will go like straight into my team and there's plenty of time to do it and i love that i want to get some of the league sbcs done of course get these token sbcs done there's a lot to do right now and i think that's why people are loving the winter wild cards promo and ea might even have more surprises for us today so we're going to be on stream again like i said checking all that out today so it's good to be back lads i hope you all had a great christmas weekend and if you enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new i'll see you today on the stream it's been nathan foot accountant peace out